Hello there, everyone. I want to do a little video today on the, let me grab it, the Falcon MD-20. It's a little tiny metal detector that is really, really, really good at finding fine, fine gold. But it's not like a typical metal detector that you swing around and identify things down on the ground. This thing has a very, very short range, like a centimeter or two in front of it. And it's used for detecting gold in rocks or gold sitting on bedrock or identifying if you have something at very, very close range. So I want to do a quick little uh, video today of the Falcon MD-20 and show you it in action. Hopefully, it will find me a little picker today. Hopefully. Okay, before I get going, let me show you the machine itself. It's just a little box. It has all the smarts in it and a wand on a, on a cord. Uh, there are two controls. There's the sensitivity and the ground balance. And uh, setting it up is fairly simple. And then on the wand itself, there's also a control, which is just a, a, copper oop, a copper band on a slider with a couple of marks. There's a red mark there, and there's a black mark that's underneath it right now. And you can slide it forward and back, and that adjusts the range out front. If you have it all the way forward, it brings in the range really close and makes it very, very sensitive, very close. If you slide it back, it... Um, extends the range but makes it not quite so sensitive so uh, i have it right in the middle right now um, i would like to get fairly close but i'd like it to be fairly sensitive so i'm going for middle of the road turning the thing on we're going to take the 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 sensitivity is also the power we're going to turn the sensitivity uh, roughly up to oops turn that back roughly up to about the one o'clock spot we're going to turn the ground balance up until you start hearing it complain. Oh, let's get the <laughs> let's get the wand away from anything metal first. Back it off. Sensitivity. Tweak it. Till it's wanting to complain. And then back it off. Oh. There we go. Now, there's my ring. Let's go with that. Now this crevice I'm going to detect along here, we have been pulling picker after picker after picker out of it. However, it seems to have dried up on us. We can't find any more pickers and we've gone a long ways down. We've gone this way. We can't find any more pickers. So now I'm going to take the falcon and wave it through the bottom, up and down the sides, and see what it finds. See if it tells me if there's anything more. Now the falcon has a really neat way to tell if it's finding gold or iron. Oops, let me get the, the wand. If it sounds off going into something, um, there we go. If it sounds off on the way into something, but does not sound off on the way away, if you're pulling back, it is gold. If it sounds off on the way back from something, pulling backwards, it's iron. Now, if it sounds off on the way in and the way out, we could have a combination or anything, but if it sounds off on the way in and not the way out, if you're pulsing in and out and it's sounding off on the way in, it's gold. If it's sounding off on the way out and not the way in, it's iron. Let's see what we can find here. Okay, let's go down. And to start with, we're just going to wave it around. Ooh. See, there's a, a signal right there. Okay, see that's sounding off on the way out, but not the way in. See, if I pull it away, it sounds off. If I go in, it doesn't. That's a piece of pyrite. Keep checking. Keep checking. Something that
got something down there. Let's make sure it wasn't the cord, because the cord was getting close to it. Okay, go back to that spot. Ta-ha! With the cord. The cord was getting too close to it. Okay, now I'm going to turn the camera off for a second until I find a good signal, and then show you that signal and what it does. Here's my first signal that might be gold. It sounds off when I go in. Hear that beep? But when I pull away, it says it sounds nothing. Going in, it sounds. Pulling away, it's nothing. Now, it means it's a, a non-ferrous metal. It could be copper, it could be brass, but going in, it sounds. Away, nothing. Let's see what's down there. See if there's something just surface before I start actually digging. There it is. A little piece of wire. And obviously it's not a straight iron. It's probably stainless steel or something like that that um, came off as non-ferrous. Moving on, moving on, moving on. So we've been moving up the um, up the channel here, and I've had to dig out a bit more, and just sort of moving around with the wand, and you see we get, oop, as we pull away, probably black sand's doing that. Moving around, pull away, probably iron of some sort. Look at this one. It sounds off going in. But pulling away doesn't do anything. Going in, sounds off. Pulling away, nothing. There's something there. So let's start. It's probably up in this crack. Do I have any tools? Oh, I got a shovel here. Oops. Hopefully I have the camera on. Of course I'm not looking through the lens of the camera as I'm doing this. Okay, so it's probably up in here. There it is. Look at that. Refocus it and get in on that, that one. There we are. Uh oh. That little tech does not like me bringing the camera in here. The rain on my lens. On my camera. I can't quite see where I'm focusing. Please be in the lens. There it is. I think. Gold. Gold. Mikey, you coming? Got to call Mikey over to show him the picker on bedrock. So we were just playing around with the uh, metal detector in the bottom of the next hole. And we got a signal over here somewhere. Where was that signal? There it is. Again. Sounds off on the way in, but not on the way out. There should be a little flake or a nugget or a piece of copper wire or something down there. Possibly another one right there. Good one there. Small one there. Let's see what we can find. What do I have to pick with? A rock. There it is. You see it? Oh yeah, look at that. There's a little flake right there. Nice thing about that, uh, the falcon, you always know it's right close to the surface when you do find it because it only has about a one centimeter distance. Yeah, just a little flake. You can put that in my pan. So I'll have that for later. Okay, and there was another one over here somewhere.
Or was that? I didn't put the camera where it should be. Okay, try it again. Right there, right? No, there, there it is. I see it. Maybe? Nope. That was just a yellow rock. Could it just be a hot rock or what? Uh, not typically when you're going in and finding it. Yeah. Well, it's under the rock. It's just buried in there somehow. Deeper? Well, let's just take that whole section and put it in the pan. There you go. We'll find it. So, everyone, we're looking at packing up here. I hope you enjoyed my little demonstration of the Falcon MD20. It's a great little tool if you're just finding that little spot or wanting to check out a chunk of quartz to see if it's got some gold in it. Uh, maybe I'll show you some of that later on, too, checking out gold on quartz with the Falcon MD-20. But it found a couple of little pickers for us today. And, uh, yeah, cool little tool. I hope you enjoyed my video. If you did, please leave a like, comment, say something. I like reading your comments, and I do reply to everyone. Also, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And make sure you click that bell icon so you get notifications. Thank you very much to all my patrons out there for supporting me in my endeavors. Without you, I could not do all these great YouTube videos. I hope they're great YouTube videos. I could not do all these YouTube videos. Thank you so much, patrons, for supporting me in my endeavors. And until the next one, everyone. Bye!